Clear rhythm. Same same a one year way. Are you Benjamin? Jack Solo. We are going for an adventure, an interesting adventure. And where are we going to? We are going to Kampala, Uganda, the pearl of Africa, my motherland, where my mother, the land where my mother was born and raised. We are going to visit the Kakande Ministries. We are going to show you the update of the constructions. You have been hearing of the fundraiser taking place. Special touch about the construction which is taking place at the Kakande Ministries. Now today we are going to take you around the church. You can have a glimpse of how things are going on. I'm, I'm also going to take you around Kampala City. I'm going to give you an aerial view of Kampala so that you can see how, how beautiful Kampala is and then I'm going to take you through the streets of Kampala so that you can see how the town is and it's going to be a wonderful adventure. So guys, get ready, get ready. I'm Cleo Faswanyama, Cleo with him. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're watching me for the first time. In this channel, we talk about the deep things of God in Christ Jesus. We cover different ministries in this channel. And uh, if you want to donate to this channel, to this ministry, to what I am doing, use the information at the description box or at the comment section, which I've been below i hope you are blessed you'll be blessed by this ministration so guys get ready today we are going to kampala we are going out for an adventure do you have your passport ready you have a yellow fever card ready you have your ticket are you ready come on guys let's go then i'll be back with the commentary so guys let's go Blood of Jesus is super power.
now guys have uh, as you have seen and um, I've, I've shown you around the city how the city is that's Kampala Uganda is a very beautiful place it's a very peaceful place they call it the Pearl of Africa if, I, if you've never been to Uganda make an effort to visit Uganda Uganda is a very great place it's a wonderful place you love it you'll enjoy this there's a lot of food you know compared to to Kenya Uganda there's a lot of food I love Uganda I love the food I love the food I love the Rolex there's a, there's a type of food called Rolex. I love it so much. And uh, Uganda is basically a good nation. It's a great country. And uh, people right now are going to visit the Kakande Ministries in Kampala, Uganda. Uh, the, Kakande, the church has been under construction for some time. You know, during COVID, they brought down the old church and they started building a new church. And the construction has taken place, an excellent church. It is an excellent church. It's a state-of-the-art church. The church is awesome. And I was able to get some clips, but now, as you know, as always, uh, ministries, they never allow uh, people to come with cameras to film their church. It is not allowed. So I just, I just, you know, I just say, let me try and get uh, the, the clips which I can get, but uh, they don't allow for one reason. Go to any church, be it common, be it anywhere, they don't allow people with come. If they see you doing this with the camera, they can even take your camera, they can even take your phone. They don't like it. So I don't want I didn't want to to show like I'm disrespectful. So I tried to get the, the few shots which I could get so that I can show you. Yes, yeah, so they don't allow for one reason or another, they just don't allow people to broadcast. But uh, I I had to respect that and uh, but I, I I was able to get the clips of the church so that I can show you how it is. Now Kakan Prophet Kakan has built a very magnificent magnificent church structure. Very magnificent. It has elevators, it has you no know, beautiful, it's so beautiful. You know, uh, he doesn't have a very big piece of land. So he utilized the area which he has so so that everything can be built in just one one big structure it's not like you know i did a video about uh, a pastor in Mom, in mombasa called pastor ezekiel pastor ezekiel of who is in mavweni mavweni in cliffy county he has bought a very big piece of land and is able to build different structure he has a, the church structure you have the restaurant the guest houses and he is able to be to build many structures why because no, he has a very big piece of land. But now the Kakande ministry is not the case. It's just one, uh, one land, one you know, uh, size of uh, I call it plot because it's within the town. So he has able to put everything inside there, and it is very excellent. So he had to to utilize all the available space so that to come. To come to come up with a very magnificent structure and as you can see the structure is wonderful people come for healing people come for deliverance people come for breakthrough people come to receive a touch a touch that will change their lives forever a touch that will take them to the next level and uh, if you have not visited the kakande ministry make an effort of visiting the kakande ministries i've done videos on how to visit the, the kakande ministries make an effort and um, very soon the church is going to, to be open to the public. As in, what I mean is that they're going to have regular services. You know, they didn't have regular services before. People you only would, would only come for the fundraiser meetings so that, you know, to, to contribute so that you can finish the church structure. But uh, very soon they're going to start con to congregate. And they are going to congregate before Christmas. So the announcement will be out there and I'll be able to communicate to you once I get the information. So guys, you'll be able to visit Uganda, you'll be able to visit the Kakande ministry and it's, it, you're going to love it, you're going to enjoy it. It's a very, very beautiful, beautiful place. So um, it's important so that uh, uh, for ministries to build structures, you know, when you come to the house of God, you need to feel comfortable, you know. Gone are the days that you come and sit on a bench, you come and sit under a tree. Gone are the days, but now the things are evolving. The church, people are evolving. Technology is evolving. The economy is evolving. Why shouldn't the church evolve? You know, some, some people may start arguing, why is the church building such structures? It's important because things are changing. 
we, we, need, we need to keep up with the change. People are, are building mag mag magnificent structures. Why should we sit under a tree and, and worship God? It doesn't make sense. Why should we sit under the tree? No, we should also build, man, ma we should also build magnificent structures where people can come comfortably and enjoy the presence of God where people can come comfortably and receive the touch from heaven. This is why uh, I support the, the construction of the new church. There are many ministers right now are doing construction. Uh, in Nigeria, Bishop Oedepo is building, uh, it's called the Ark. The Ark will be the biggest church auditorium on the face of the earth. Bishop Oedepo started with the, he started with the, with the, the faith tabernacle, uh, which uh, was able to accommodate 50,000 people in one service. It was even in the Guinness Book of Records. But now other ministers came and built many structures of 50,000, even 100,000. But in the right now he's building another one. It's called, it's called the Ark. It's still under construction. It's going to be huge. So across the globe, ministers, churches, ministries are building are putting up structures, uh, good structures for you know for people to come and congregate, and it is it is not bad, it is not bad because why would you build a good house and you want where you go to worship, to worship under a tree? It doesn't make sense. We can't worship under a tree. It is not bad, but now things are evolving, things are changing, people are upgrading. We should also upgrade the house of God. We should also upgrade the house of God. Look at the buildings right now. People are, people are building. You know, cities are being developed, flyovers are being built, the Chinese are around, they are building good roads, you understand? The infrastructure of nations in Africa are being improved. Now, if infrastructures are, are, are being improved, people are putting up skyscrapers and good buildings. Why should we worship God and a tree? We should also build good structures, magnificent, magnificent structures where God can be worshipped, where God, you know, we can enjoy the presence of God. So this is why the, this project was on, and uh, it's, uh, it's in the last stages. We are it's, it's about to be complete. So I'm happy. I'm happy because uh, I was able to help many people to go to Kampala to contribute and also to build the house of God. So it's very, very, very wonderful. And I know that now after this building, after the normal services have. I've resumed many people are going to come for healing. Many people are going to congregate. People are coming all over the world. People are coming all over the world to Kampala. Kampala, get ready. Kampala, get ready. The world is coming to you. Kampala, if you're hearing me, get ready. The world is coming to you. The world is coming to Kampala to receive that touch from heaven. God has done it and uh, it's going to be a great and wonderful thing. So guys, this video is all about that. I'll just take you around the, the city, show you how the church it is. And there, there are those who have been contributing and they don't know how the church, uh, you know, the, how the progress is so far. This is the progress which I'm showing you. So guys, be blessed. I love you. May God bless you. See you in the next video. I'll be taking you around in different churches just with your help and with your support. If you keep on supporting me, keep on helping me, uh, supporting this ministry. I'll take you around the world to show you what's happening, show you the things which are happening within the body of Christ to encourage you and to build your faith. I love you. God bless you in Jesus' name.